Well, it's a beautiful day at the boat today and we're just down here doing a little bit of work and let's uh, go inside and see if Tim will maybe give us a little tour of the kitchen. Hey Tim! Are we doing this now? It's a bit spontaneous isn't it? Go for it. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's kind of our first video, I suppose, if it's any good. If it's not any good, it won't be our first video because you'll never see it. But um, this is the kitchen for the boat. Um, um, completely bespoke, unusual, I suppose, kitchen because we had lots of ideas about where you could put it and against here, against there and everywhere, but it didn't really fit anywhere. And I came up with this idea as we have a hatch in the middle, which isn't really removable and has become the staircase. So I had this idea of putting the kitchen around the fixed staircase. But that had its own problems because nothing is even. It's a boat. The decks shape over, curve gradually over that way. And they also rise to what Lisa likes to call the pointy end, <laughs> which is like the front, that bit, the bow. Anyway, so what we did, idea was to make a completely from scratch bespoke kitchen to fit perfectly in the space but uh, not any kind entirely out of pallets because they're free and a lot of pallets a lot of sanding and a lot of blood but um so all of this is completely pallet it's all pallet 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 pallets everything uh the kind of idea the theme behind it is to sort of give this idea of boxes as it's a fishing boat, it kind of gives a sort of more older industrially kind of idea. And the boxes are made so that they all are drawers on super smooth runners. Not that smooth, hey? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's all been fitted in. We've got a fitted microwave, uh, and an old toolbox I was given as a bread bin. Again, all on runners, and then plenty of sort of space underneath for all the different things that you might have in your kitchen. Uh, the worktop is not pallet. This uh, is some strips of wood. Uh, the only thing that I had a lot of the same thing. So basically, I think they're like half inch by about just over an inch wide. And I think that the majority of them were like roofing battens. Hence, they had lots of holes put in them. Uh, which have all been plugged in various different colour plugs. And it kind of gives you this very unusual sort of different kind of look. I see you're zooming in on my little, uh, yeah, there was one hole right on the edge, so I cut down a brass screw to fill the gap. <laughs> little features. It's all in the detail. And as you move around here, now, this side of the uh, kitchen is set up, it's the right height for a worktop that you'd standard have in a kitchen, uh, whatever that is, I can't remember. But because as the decks move up further around here, it gets to the point where it's obviously a lot lower. It's being level, the floor not being level, and it is now the right height for a dining area. Little standard chair size. It's great. And so in the in-betweeny bit, which is neither high nor low, we have the sink which I was given, uh, which is sort of sunk halfway into the worktop here to give it kind of the right sinky height. It, you know, how come this is so dirty? It's like the only thing that should really be clean should be a sink of... Oh, no taps. No taps yet. A work in progress. Uh, another little thing we've got over here is I was given some parts from an old Arga and it just so happened that they just fitted perfectly to make um, a cupboard which would conceal the electric water heater behind it. So that was it's just about having the right bits and just looking around and finding the bits that fit occasionally and it's like wow. So yep, we carry on down to here. Uh, we didn't have quite enough pieces to fill out the kitchen so this is a piece of oak which is formerly part of a wardrobe. That gives it sort of a slightly different sort of sectional area for where you might be eating. Watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, using some of the old posts that are holding the shelter deck up, uh, the 
kind of goes around, flows around these. And then we get back over to this sort of area. There are sort of a couple of flaps down here which uh, are going to be on sort of counterweights and they sort of seal up the downstairs area from behind. And when they're in the up position, they sort of stop things rolling off the back of the worktop and falling downstairs. And this then shows leads into the staircase in a very, very tight area uh, made out of scaffold boards and various bits of stuff that's lying around. And um, pretty much, I guess that gives you um, a one-off bespoke pallet kitchen on a boat. Well, thank you very much, Tim, for that very informative tour. <laughs> We shall leave you now to get on with your work tea. or drink your tea. <laughs> I'm now. <laughs>